Hello guys, in this tutorial um, I'm going to show you how to make this sort of particle type, like icicle, how can you describe it? Um, I don't know, I don't know how you could describe it, it's like a type of text like this. It's really simple, it doesn't take long to um, make. So you're just going to go to File, New, and you're just going to make this about 1000 by 800. Make sure it's RGB colour and the background content's white. So it looks like this, or whatever you want to do. Um, I'm just going to delete the lot layer, and I'm just going to click Control and Backspace to fill this with the background colour there. And I'm just going to come and get the text tool, and I'm using Bond for, uh, for Bond, Bit of a Hero. Um, I'm just going to add it in, make sure it's white. Um, like that. That looks alright. And just, just line it up using the arrow keys. And I'm just gonna just right click and I'm just gonna duplicate the layer so I just have two of them. And I might just get rid of this. So you can't see that one. Click back on this and you're gonna go to filter, stylize and wind. And it'll ask you to whatever this is, so just click OK. And what wind is it'll give all the, the particles coming off it, like like a blur. And I'm just gonna choose from the right first, and just click OK. And I'm going to do it one more time just by clicking here. Then you have to go to filter, stylize, wind, and the reason why, so you can do it from the left. Okay, and then I'm going to do it one more time. And um, by clicking just at the top. And then to get the particles or whatever coming upwards, I'm just going to change the layer to the, like, on side. So I'm just going to go to um, edit, transform, and... Uh, rotate 90 degrees clockwise. I'm just going to choose wind, filter wind like it's already been done, and again, and then I'm going to go back down to stylize wind, and I'm just going to change it from the right. I'll do it one more time. Then I'm just going to go to edit, transform, and rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise, so it just comes back. Right, okay, and if I just take this in, you'll see this come up. So before I do that, I'm just going to take the, just make sure this eye isn't checked again, and I'm just going to make a new copy above this, new layer, sorry. And I'm going to, to get this like the coloured in like mine was, I'm just going to go and get the brush tool, and you want to go to the basic brushes. And uh, once you're there, you're going to go, it'll look like this, and you're just going to go down and choose one of the soft brushes. I'm going to choose about 65. And then you're just going to go to the colour, and I'm going to start off with a dark green. So just go over it. To light green. Try use the lighter colours more. And I'm going to do dark blue. Like turquoise. Now I'm gonna go to purple to pink. Then I'm gonna go a dark red to red. Like a brown. Only a little bit and to red. Alright, so once you've done that, you're just going to go to Filter, Blur, and Gauge and Blur. And I'm just going to move it to about 42 pixels so it comes around like this. And I'm just going to click OK. And then you want to come over to the layers and you want to click where it says Normal and go to Colour. So as you can see, it colours this in now. As you can see, you don't want it to look like this. You're just going to choose the copy again so it comes on. And I'm just going to change the colour to Black. That didn't work. Sorry, I'm on the wrong one. Oh, sorry. Let's right, so make sure on this now, and I'm just going to choose color and black, and make sure you choose this. And you can use your arrow keys on your keyboard to get it into place. So that's it, guys. There's this um, really smart effect. Uh, um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, well, thumbs up, you know what I mean? Thanks, guys. More tutorials on the way.